A team of USF and state researchers are gearing up for a voyage to the oil spill during the 10-day expedition. They'll be studying both normal and oiled waters out there. 10 Connects reporter Catherine Bursch is live outside of the College of Marine Science in St. Petersburg with more on the mission and some special equipment that's going to be used. Catherine? Hey, Reg, this boat is loaded, pretty much loaded and ready to go. Uh, they're scheduled to leave about 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. And one of the reasons that NOAA wanted USF to participate in this oil study is because USF has a piece of equipment that no one else does. It's sitting right here on deck right now. It's called a sipper. It's kind of in this sled contraption. And not only does USF have this equipment, they invented it. Crew members carry rags onto a research vessel that aims to discover riches in information. And a unique tool will play a big role. A sipper is at the is front and center on this cruise. Uh, it's a, a relatively rare type of technology. Engineers at the USF Center for Ocean Technology invented the sipper, and on Tuesday they were busy preparing it for the trip. So we want to make sure you know certain tests are done. Here's how it works: the tube-shaped device is dragged through the water, where water enters one end, flows out the other. Well, a camera inside takes images up to 30,000 a second. A computer program can then name all the tiny organisms. With SIPR you image every animal that goes through there. We have an image classification system that has nearly the accuracy of a human so that we know what was counted, what the population distributions. A lot of times when we think of the oil spill we think about the dangers to large animals like dolphins and whales and sea turtles. But tiny little creatures, zooplankton, are very important too. As they support the food web out there. Yep. I got it, I got it. Besides helping catalog conditions in non-oiled waters, the sipper will also measure the size of oil droplets over the wellhead site. And that info can help experts predict just where the oil will go. And people are always asking me, what do you do with my tax dollars? Well, this is something important that we, that we are doing. This mission is expected to last about eight to ten days. First stop will be about 150 miles offshore in waters where the oil has not reached yet. They're there they will do a bunch of sampling and testing, and then next stop will be the heart of the oil spill. Reporting live from St. Petersburg, I'm Catherine Bursch for 10 Connect.